Hi guys, it's Mr B here and today we're going to look at comparing fractions. Before we start, I apologise for the baubles. Um, at my school I was trying to raise money and the children decided that beard baubles would be the best look for me. So I have to keep these in all the way up to we break up on the 27th of December. So try and ignore these, okay? But today we're going to look at comparing fractions so we can see which ones are bigger, which ones are smaller, which ones are the same size. Okay, now got a fraction here, 3 eighths, 3 over 8, and we're just going to have a quick recap, remember, numerator is the number on the top, denominator is the number on the bottom, okay, we're just going over that again quickly because we will be using that later on, so numerator on the top, denominator on the bottom, okay, so we have two fractions here, 2 quarters and 3 quarters, and we're comparing them to see which one's the biggest one, which one's the smallest one, if we have a look, We've got two squares here with equal, brought in equal, four equal parts, quarters. Remember, fractions are equal parts, with so four equal parts. So here, I'm going to colour in two. And on this one, I'm going to colour in three. And as we can clearly see when we do that, the three quarters is bigger, it takes up a bigger area. So this one is the bigger uh, fraction, and this is a smaller fraction. The easiest way to do it, if I were denominators, which then the numbers on the bottom, are the same, they have to be the same, we just have to look at the top number, okay? So three is bigger than two, so we know three quarters is the biggest one. Let's look at down here with eights, okay? Because we can't always draw the shapes, it will take too long and they have to measure them to make them sure they're all equal sizes to see which one, and it might be hard to tell on some of them. All the denominators are the same, Eight, so we can just have a look at the top line. So have a quick couple of seconds there now. Which do you think is the biggest and which do you think is the smallest? Now remember, you can only do this if all the numerators, uh, sorry, denominators, the numbers on the bottom, are the same. Otherwise, we'll have to do something else which we're going to look at. Okay? So, if you said five eighths is the biggest in those uh, four fractions, you'd be right. And if you said one eighth was the smallest, you were right there because we know five is the biggest number there, and one is the smallest number. That's pretty easy when we've got denom denominators on the bottom which are the same, but we don't always have that. Sometimes the denominators, the numbers on the bottom, are different. When that happens, we have to do something else. Let's have a look at that now. So let's look at fractions where the denominators are different sizes, okay? So we have two fractions here, we have three sixths, and we have two thirds. And we want to know which is the bigger one, which is the smaller one. We might have a few more fractions, we need to order them, okay? We need to see here which is the biggest we're gonna do, okay? So, if they had the same denominators, numbers on the bottom, it would be easy, we could say this is big because it has a bigger numerator. Fortunately, the numbers on the bottom here are different. So, the first thing that you have to do is make the denominators the same. Always make the denominators the same, okay? And then we're back to the easy part that we've just done earlier. So we need to make the denominators the same. Now, if you're not sure how we can change these fractions and make them the same, have a look at my other video, which will be up in the corner there now, you can click on, on equivalent fractions, which will tell you how to do it. But simple terms, what we can do is we multiply one of the fractions, or we divide it um, in order to make this number the same. And whatever we do at the bottom, we have to do at the top, okay? So I've got six thirds here. I know three times two is six, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna times this fraction by two to find out what it is if it was six. So I'm gonna times it by two. Remember, whatever I do at the bottom, I have to do to the top. Check out the equivalent fractions video, okay? And that would mean, I know I've got six on the bottom, which is the same, okay? And on the bottom, two times two is four. So I have four sixths there. So I now know that two thirds the same as four sixths, which I can see is bigger than three sixths because of what we've looked at before. Now we just have to look at the numerator. So step one is make the denominators the same. And then step two is to compare the numerators, now the fractions, are, have the same denominators, okay? So let's have a look at this one down here. We've got eighths and sixteenths. Now I know my eight times table, so I know two times seven eighths is, six, uh, so two times eight is 16. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna times both of these by two. 
going to work this way. I know it looks a bit strange. Just got the space I've got. 8 times 2, I know 16 because that's making it the same as that. So now I need to do 7 times 2, which would be 14. Now all I have to do is look at the numerators. 14 is bigger than 10, so I know 7 eighths is bigger. I forgot to do that there. Okay. 7 eighths is bigger than 10 sixteenths because it's the same as 14 sixteenths. Brilliant. Last little example here. We've got one quarter and three twelfths. We want to know which one's bigger. Now, again, I know my four times table. I know quarter, uh, sorry, four times three is twelve. So I'm going to times the by three, but I have to do the same at the top and the bottom. Okay, so I know I've got twelve on the bottom, and I have to times the top by three, and I've got three twelfths. Now I can see that one quarter and three twelfths are the same, they are equivalent fractions, okay? Because when I times the top bottom by three and the top by three, I get three twelfths. Hope that video has helped you being able to compare fractions there, um, if they've got the same denominator. If they haven't, if it has, give it a thumbs up for me, please. If you need any more help or anything like that, pop it in the comments and I'll try and uh, get back to you. If you know anyone else that would uh, benefit from this video who may be struggling with fractions, because they can be quite tricky, uh, obviously share it and hopefully we can help as many people as we can. Thanks for watching. Till next time, see you later.